What's going on everybody? It's Josh. This is going to be a quick little intro. Um, today's Saturday. I am on my way um, down to the toy department with Toy Bills. They got some Star Wars Hot Toys in, I think Thursday or Wednesday, uh, that we are both potentially interested in. Not the same one, but different. So I don't even want to tell you what I'm looking for because it's probably a chance that's not going to be there. If you hear any noise in the background, it's because we're getting this big tree cut down. Um, so I apologize for that. But main reason why I wanted to start this at home is because Kokomo Toys, big shout out to Kokomo, they sent me this big box of goodies. Um, I have really no idea what I'm supposed to do with it. But once again, boom, Kokomo. So uh, I'm going to give away a couple of things and I'm going to give some stuff to the kids as well. So this will be the giveaway box for a little bit. But shout out to Kokomo. Thank you guys. I need to make it out there. Um, Todd, thank you brother for this. This is cool. So uh, like I said, I'm going to have the kids pick out some things from there. But what I'm going to give you guys a chance is the Valkyrie from Thor Love and Thunder. I think that's cool. And then the archive, isn't this the archive? Yeah, the archive series, Dengar. So there's the two things. Everything else in here, like there's like DC Superman, um, a deceased Deathstroke. Uh, there's a cool like Motu Skeletor. Is that what that is? Yeah, Skele Skele God. Okay. A GI Joe figure. And then just some more like legends and stuff. So. Um, I just wanted to at least present some stuff to you guys, so I'll let you know at some point in this video how to enter to win that, but this intro is very, very long. Fingers crossed we pick up a hot toy today at Toy Bar, because the one I want, grail term, I hate using that word a lot, but it is a grail to a lot of people, so hopefully I get it, but anyways, um, thank you guys for watching so far. Please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Um, I think I'm only like 300 away from 30k, so maybe we can get there soon. But anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next clip. All right, so we made it to toy department. It is, there's a line of people here. I have no idea why. So we're just going to hang out here and wait until the door is open, which is in one minute, hypothetically. But yeah, there's like eight people in line. Then we'll walk in there. Billy brought some stuff to trade in, and uh, I just sold some Lego sets to a different store right before we got here. So I have a little bit of spending money. We shall see if it's enough to, to take home anything. So. Fingers crossed. Okay, so we just walked in, and this is the first thing that caught my eye. This is one that I didn't think that they would have. So I'm gonna open it up and look at it real quick, but I hope I get it. All right. Sounds good. Here we go. My face looks pretty crazy. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna look this over very carefully, but I at least wanted to show you guys first look, open box at it pretty excited okay so this is the second pickup that I might be doing one, we'll see one, we'll one. see you want the MMS? Uh, yes. this one but I sold this to Nat at ICCon and uh, I literally instantly regretted it but um yeah it's very very cool so I definitely want this one back in the collection I might just do it because this is like one of the last figures that I'm looking forward to kind of complete my collection so I'll keep you guys updated but I wanted to at least show you the thought process all right so we're just gonna start Star Wars side 280 I just not realized that 280 for that Slave Leia vintage collection holy smokes no way that's crazy I am getting both Hot Toys though I'm getting both Obi-Wans and then I'm think I'm pretty much good on I'm not buying anything else that's way too much money I'm spending but Thankfully, selling the Lego kind of offset it, so we're good. But those are like the, some of the last things that I need, like I said, in order to be complete. But there's that. That's a. That Grogu's the Razor Crest one. Okay. I think that's some more vintage collection. There's the other Razor Crest, Jawa, Kit Fisto, Sidious. And you got the Fives. I didn't think Fives is that expensive. I think I actually have him. I think I bought him. We got some lightsabers. Oh, I wonder if Danny saw these. Yeah, I think he did. He did see Dooku's. Those are pretty okay, cool. Yeah, I'm like knee deep in figures. Everyone, so yeah, I'm kind of <laughs> knee deep in figures. I feel your brother. Oh my gosh, that is 300 in the Jabba's throne thing. That's Luke's land speeder. Premier Kylo helmet. Wow. Got some stuff in here this time. Wow. What's this? What the heck? 
This is a Nerf dart? Or a Nerf gun? Wow, that's trippy. Parker would love this. That's pretty cool. Oh. Alright, flipping around the Black Series. More accessible Black Series. This might be the only shot that I go to today, by the way, so I have no idea if we'll have any more content or not. I just don't know why they did this. Why is it blue and purple? I mean, I guess it's the, this is like the credit collection. So the paint scheme is just off. Same thing with IG. I don't know, maybe it's a concept thing that I'm missing. But I'm out on that. I think they have really anything else. I do want to look at their Predator stuff though. That is one thing that I'm, I would like to look at just because I, um, I've watched Prey, which is a great movie by the way. And then I watched Predator, Predator 2, and I watched Predators uh, this past week. What's up, man? Um, battle packs are up there. I'm just trying to see if anything's new. Newer, this stuff kind of all stays the same, realistically. But... Just gonna keep this thing going. I want to come down here. This is their NECA part. I'm definitely not gonna buy any Predators, but I at least want to see what the market's like on them. Because after watching the movies, kind of got me in the the feels again with some Predators. You never know. They have a lot of stuff upcoming that I can maybe get at retail if I decided to buy some just for a little shelf. But a lot of the old school Predators that though. Probably never do. I love it. There goes my knees. They have a lot down here. Viper Predator, Hornhead, Temple Guard. I had quite a few of these. I know I had the Berserker Predator over there in the corner. That was one of my favorites that I had. Then I had one that was like all red, I think. Is that even a thing? I don't even know if that's a thing. There's a John Connor with his little dirt bike. I didn't even know that that was a thing. Hmm. We got a briefing Dutch. That was a, I thought that was a, oh, the 30th anniversary, that's right. Cause I remember I bought the, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I just hit my camera. Um, I bought the Invisible Predator. In that same box from their 30th. Cause I think they put that online. It was like years ago. That's sort of probably the beginning of my YouTube channel. So we have the NECA diorama, the turtle diorama up there. Here's some DC stuff. You know, people always like to see DC. But, Bill, have you seen anything yet? The Trifidum diorama? Oh, do you remember the bone throne? <laughs> since bone he, throne. Since he's like a bone throne. I forgot about this. Dude, the trophy room is pretty cool. Yeah. I think they had this on display at um, Transfan. Everyone, we would go in there a lot with Cincy. That was like the NECA and Figure Arts place to go. But no, dude, after, obviously, like we talked about in group chat, after watching and then seeing all these Predators, it would be cool to have some of them. Not that I'm going to like dive back in and buy them because they're crazy expensive, but I mean, just to see something like this one looks cool. This guy's trippy. Oh, they have all of these back here, too. Oh, wow. City Hunter, I had that one. Yeah, it's tough. All right, I'm probably going to cut this. I'm going to figure out something else to look at, and then I'll show you guys. But not a bad start so far. So I didn't go very far. I was literally right there. But here's some more NECA stuff. And I saw some Predator things, so I want to at least show you guys. I know this is all old news, but this was my first NECA figure I ever bought. And I was with Sensi, and he lived here. And we, went, we were at a Toys R Us, and I had a coupon. It's like ten dollars or five dollars off and i ended up getting this for pretty cheap i got that one and then this one i did not get this is pretty cool though click scar predator yeah i just thought i'd share it with you guys in case i mean a lot of people are probably new to the channel but this is my first NECA predator or this is my first NECA figure in general which is pretty cool and then a bunch of the animated stuff i don't know what that is gremlins Predator 2. There's a City Hunter. I think I had this one too. Yeah, I did have this one. This one was cool. 
they look wicked. But yeah, mega predators are for sure cool. What's that down there? Is this just the normal predator? Nice. Um, oh, this is the comic one, right? I think Cody bought this one when we were in Lexington for the first time. Yeah, I had a bit. We had a big NECA trip, that that Lexington trip, because that's when Toy Department they're open down the down the lane here, like the it's just called shopping center. And dude, they had all predators for like twenty bucks. They're like blowing them out. It was crazy cheap to buy them back then, because even the market back then twenty dollars was really good. So. Um, I do want to look at the Lego for Karina and the kids, so I'll go do that once the shelf space opens up. All right, well, we don't get to look at the wrestlers very much anymore, so here we go. This place is absolutely slam jam freaking busy, which is insane. So. That work? Cool. That's cool. I love when people get excited when they, like, bring their stuff in to sell and they get a prize and they're like, oh, yeah, that's great. Uh, that's just a good feeling to have. But um, yeah, anyways, back to the wrestling. My bad. Is this Miss Tess Maker, Matcher, or something? I don't know. They still have that taker. Oh, no, they sold that. That's wild that, that Brock Lesnar is 110 because it's re released. <laughs> Bret Hart. Inbox Bret Hart. Find him with Sting. Some old Hasbro. Which is so pretty cool to see. Some flashback elites. Shawn Michaels. Big Show. Sealed Brandy. Rhodes. Damn, they have a lot of wrestlers. And they just got a whole lot in. I just saw a pretty big tote come in full of loose wrestling. So, that's pretty cool. Um, I know I did say something about Lego wise, but I will show some heavy hitters real quick. City Docks is absolutely incredible, 700 bucks. Man, Karina would want that if we had room. The Queen's Anne, oh, you can't see. What the heck's going on here? There we go. The Pirate, the Caribbean ship is pretty cool. The UCS Hoth set is pretty cool too. But there's really not a whole lot of Lego. Last time Karina is. We were here when um, Dave and Chancho and Danny were up. She got two Lego sets that were like massively under retail, which is kind of crazy. She got those here. But I don't see anything that she probably desperately needs right now. So Billy Bills is uh, contemplating some vintage figures. Looks like a lot of people are. He's either gonna put a little bit of money towards a hot toy or get some Star Wars vintage figures. Struggle busting. I guess we can look at this stuff. Some vintage G.I. Joes. In modern, obviously, up here. They have Star Wars prototypes? Oh, I never show the prototype case. I need to look at this. Craig bought some Pokemon prototypes when he was up here forever ago. Are these some Star Wars? Wow. The amount of prototype stuff they get in here is just ridiculous. Got Tuscan Raider for sure. Those are cool. 45 bucks for a... Uh, is that... Bro, yeah. oh. These are sweet. Super sweet. Those are sweet, dude. Sweet, sweet. Those are cool, though. I like the t-shirt, though. Yeah. Pull is like a cream white, like off-white. kind of white, but... This one, sure. A CD-ROM. Let's go. Yeah, the employee says cool. Remember when they had the employee, um, like, time cards or something? Mm, yeah, those were cool. The prototype uh, Goliath yeah, Garbo. Those sweet, too. This one, for sure. Wow. Here. Danny Phantom. Mm. <laughs> oh, did you see the Black Series test shots they have? Yeah, man. Boba and then the Dengar. That's kind of cool. I haven't seen a, I haven't seen a Black Series one. They got a Django. Oh, is that Django? Yeah, that is cool. Damn, that's recent. I mean, those aren't. I mean, a couple of, what? Five-ish years ago? Ten years? No, not ten. I'm stupid. But everything else is pretty like vintage, quote unquote. I mean, that's all the guys in the 90s, but these, this is pretty cool. Thank you. All right, well, maybe I'll let you guys see what Billy's gonna get if we can uh, find a spot over there. So, this is a case I never really show off because I don't know what I'm looking at. 
The Bills said Chirpa. Yeah. Uh, Akbar. Yeah. Um, the Red Snag back there. And who else? Greedo. Greedo. Uh, maybe need no. I don't know. He really wants this Lando. He's too. Billy makes a good point. Vintage pricing never really like skyrockets a lot. Like it's on a steady up curve, unlike modern stuff where like hot toys, the retail price of those will always be going up. But some of these will gradually stay the same or go up. But I'm with it. Size. Yeah, it's a different build. I have it at the house. All right guys, so uh, took the hot toys back in here. Billy's, he bought some vintage figures, but we're walking back in here to try and see if uh, he has some stands or whatever, so we're back very quickly. All right guys, so we are back home. I am gonna be in the same clothes for both these videos because I filmed two videos in one day. So once again, the giveaway is these two. We got Valkyrie and we got Dengar. So the way that you're going to enter, very, very easy. Leave a like just to help the algorithm for me. Make sure you leave a comment and it's going to be of your favorite figure or item in your collection. It doesn't have to be toys, it could be shoes, it could be comic book, it could be whatever you want. Just let me know down in the comments and please be subscribed. Also, make sure that your subscription privacy is to public, that way I can verify um, that you are subscribed. Because obviously if you win something, I at least want you to support the channel and be subscribed. I'm gonna put a little twist on things. As you guys know, I am partnered up with Whatnot. Um, along with this giveaway, if you want an extra chance to get something else outside of these, use the link in the description to sign up for Whatnot. If you choose to make a purchase on the app, um, you'll have $10 towards that first purchase uh, in credit, I guess you could call it. Um, so how that's going to work. So say I pick your name in the comments and you're the winner. If you have signed up with the, the link, I am going to give you a figure as well an extra random figure that i have laying around um for free just for signing up and helping support the channel in that way as well so you don't have to sign up for whatnot to enter the giveaway it's just if i happen to pick you and you signed up you get two figures so that's pretty much it but it does help if you guys do sign up with the link thank you very much but that's going to be it for the video oh i forgot to even show you what i bought Frick. so old man obi-wan and then yes i did sell this freaking obi-wan this uh the deluxe obi-wan i sold to my good friend nat um regretted it about a week after i sold it so unfortunately i had to rebuy it but i'm, I'm very happy this figure i never thought that i would own because the prices were crazy and it just so happened to be a really good price at the toy department the um i think i showed you guys or said this the light up arm doesn't work but i don't use it anyway so i could care less um, I did open them up. Everything looks great. I know I keep saying this, but I have to give you guys a Hot Toys collection tour because I still have three. This makes five Hot Toys. Um, oh, lighting's bad. That I still need to open. So I got some work to do, and I'm going to buy um, paper towel holders to put the helmets on, and the helmets are going to be above the detox, and then I'll have some open availability down here. So I'm pretty excited um, to get everything done because. I'm pretty almost done buying Hot Toys. Like that's that's an actual fact. Like I, there's not a whole lot that's not being released that I need to to buy. Since he hooked me up with the Palpatine on the throne, a Royal Guard. I got the Old Man Ben. I got the Obi Wan that I regretted selling. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. So I'm I'm happy about that. So I think I can be done buying hot toys for a while so that's great um but yeah other than that that's it um i'm going to cut this and in, in the next video so if you guys did enjoy please leave a like subscribe if you're new i hate to be a broken record but like i said whatnot link it helps support me it's absolutely free it just takes a couple seconds to do but anyways thank you guys for all of the support on the videos lately um columbus toy show is in two weeks so that'll be a, a very fun show if you guys are in the area i highly recommend uh you guys checking that out so if you see me there say what's up if not, just enjoy the show, but it's going to be awesome. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for your support. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, may the fix be with you.